Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to the second episode of the 2020 Top Series 2 Fat Packs. We opened up 25. We're doing 25 again today. Not sure when I'll do the next 24, but we're hoping to pull those Luis Robert rookie cards. Only pulled one last night. Let's hopefully we pick up the pace. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see what we get out of these 25 fat packs. Go back and watch episode number one. We only hit one Luis Robert out of there. Pulled a SSP. And here we go. Here's a Ryu. That is a vintage stock. It's a nice card. 99. Yep. That's a nice card. Okay. We're on the board with a hit. Here's the inserts. Keep it going. Again, back in the underground, my parents' basement, making videos while on vacay. Although it's a working vacay, it's still fun. I'm working a disc golf tournament, so if you don't know what disc golf is, it's frisbee golf. Been getting to the course at 6 a.m., yeah, I've gotten home around 8.30 each day. Been some long days. And here's one of the chromes that I like so much. And the next card is a good card. Let me get this in there. So we have a Luis Robert. 35th anniversary insert card. I'm going to top load that. So that was unexpected. That's actually centered pretty good. I'm not sure what I think about this card. I'm not a big fan of inserts. But there we have it. I am a fan of these inserts. The Judge. Turkey Reds. Move to the bottom. So, come on. We need to pull a few blue bobs here. I was hoping between the, the 74 packs that we would pull, you know, somewhere between six and eight of these things. And we only pulled one in the first stretch. Or how about we just, how about we just hit the SSP of Robert? Or the short print and call it a day. I'll take I'll take one of those over over the base all day long. I'll trade ten base for that one card. And unfortunately, here's a short print. Although it is a rookie, have no idea about this guy. Plays for the Cardinals. Anybody got any info, info on him? So let's see if that's a regular short print. I'm going to top load that. It is a rookie short print. This is a 15. If you can see, I'm trying to get it. It's tough. The last two digits of the serial code on the back are 15. So that is a short print. Rookie. Like this card. I don't I know. I'm not sure if that's the regular. I've seen this border. I'm gonna have to look that up too. The border on that card. Because that's that's it gotta be a camo insert of that card. That's not the first time I've pulled. It's not serial numbered. So camo insert. I believe I have another one of those. Because that's not a normal pull. Again, thanks for tuning in. Series 2, Lou Bobber Bust. I saw Jordan Alvarez came back and hit a bomb tonight. Welcome back, Jordan. 
Rookie of the Year, AL Rookie of the Year. See if his cards pick up. If he keeps doing that. Aaron Judge hurt. Seems like he's always hurt. Disappointing. Guy stays on the field. He hits bombs. Not sure with what. Anybody hear why? I've uh, haven't been able to keep up with the baseball the last three days. Really, listen to the Cubs, watch the Cubs when I've gotten home, and then take a shower, do a video, go to bed, repeat. So again, I'm going to do one more of these videos. Not sure if I'm going to do it tomorrow night or when I'm going to do it, but if I feel up to it, I will do it tonight. I was like, yeah, let's go open some cards. A gold? Charlie Blackman? All right, so... We pulled an Independence Day parallel. Let me move these base. Pulled an Independence Day parallel. Pulled a vintage stock tonight. So, so far, these fat packs have had some decent parallels in them. Pulled an SSP last night. Pulled a rookie short print tonight. Although, I have no idea who that player is or if he's any good at all from the Cardinals. Looking for the Lou Bob. We are due for a few. Another chrome here. Suarez from Cincinnati. I'll tell you what, I'm I have a huge stack of those. Twins, some rookie turkey red. And there we have that. Imagine, imagine pulling the golden ticket out of one of these. I mean, that's so far ridiculous. But imagine if you were open a fat packs and you pulled a golden ticket. Okay, there we go. There's a Lou Bob. Very nice. So we got one on the board. Very similar to last night. Put one on the board early. We tacked on a run early. And then we did not see a Robert the rest of the time. So let me switch this around. So there's one. Hoping to get on a hot streak and get a few. Really want to pull some so I can... The reason I bought these, I want to open them. And I want to get ready. There's a gold. Sheffield. I have some really nice rookie stuff of his. I am want, I want to I want to get these pulled. And I want to get these re ready for card savers. And I want to get them in the next PSA submission. Send them out. And then see them in eight months. At least I hope eight months. I hope not longer. Shorter would be great. Six to seven months would be awesome. But I don't know if that's going to happen. At least PSA is fully up and functional. They've added some workers. We will see how they do. You Darvish, heck of a game he pitched last night. Another third one of these bad boys. Koufax. Pretty. Cease, former Cub. I'm not sure if I'm sold on him yet. And uh, what do you guys think about Eloy, man? 
former Cub. I don't think that was a great trade by any means, but I tell you what, I had no, I, I, I think I said that in a few videos. I had no idea how awful Eloy is in the outfield. He is absolutely terrible. He makes Schwarber look like an all-star. Schwarber's just, he's worked into an average outfielder, but Eloy, man, the guy is clumsy. He's terrible. Falling in the wall, falling in the fence. Never did I know he was that bad. There's a gold. I like that card. Bow nose, Pujols. All right, this is our 10th pack. We got 15 more to go after this. This is probably going to be another. I'm kind of dragging, guys. I apologize. My energy's level's down. Like I said, I worked all day, been on my feet. If you've never seen disc golf played, and if you've never seen real professionals throw, it is purely amazing. Those guys are so athletic. You might laugh, but go see a true professional disc golfer and the top players in the world, and wow, they are athletes and can crush. They do some things with a Frisbee that's impressive. Get this over here. That's just the base. So there is a... That's a pack with two. Look at that. So a silver foil and then a gold on top of it. So there's our 10th pack in. Let me move another fat stack of base. Get that out of the way. Inserts are piling up, just like last night. All right, let me just lay those here. Trying to get organized. A little different setup than at home. I got to do just a little more reaching here. Makes it a little more difficult. Trying to get comfortable to open cards and see them. But still fun. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Thanks for tuning in. So many comments, so many likes, so many subscriptions. I mean, in the last week, week and a half, it's gone haywire for for me. I'm loving it. Here's a black border $2.99, I believe. And there is a short print, first of all. Biggio. So let's get that in a sleeve. That's a regular short print. That is the 15. Last two digits down there, 15. That's the regular short print. And put him on there. Second short print. Here is out of 299. Black is always 299. Nola, put that up there, Kershaw War, just ready, I am ready for the Lewis Robert short print to come out of one of these packs, ready for it, I love that card, looks great. Is it going to come out of one of these packs? Whether tonight or during the next episode. We will see. Time will tell. We definitely haven't hit it out of the park. But let's keep it going. Pulling tons of cards. Here's a gold Tampa Bay team card. Unfortunately, Jay Hay. And next, let's keep ripping through these packs. 
the old 2020 Series 2 Fat Packs. Looking for the Luis Robert rookie card. You know, there's a reason I like the hanger boxes better. But let's see what we do. I'm not going to judge until I'm totally done. So here's a... Dang, another insert. Wade Boggs insert. Or not insert, but a short print, I mean, sorry. A little tired, so... So there's there's another insert tonight. Or a hot insert, jeez. Again, I'm tired. Another short print. Here's a blue border. We are due to pull the short print of Lou Bob. Due. It's going to happen. Still have all these packs tonight, and then one more break of these. I want that card pretty bad. It's a great looking card. But I knew I was taking a gamble when I purchased these in terms of base. I love hanger boxes personally because of the number of cards and the value. And uh, fat packs aren't quite. I love this dude. We pulled quite a few of those. That's at least three. Um, love the look of that card with that jersey. Another chrome here, Wade Boggs. Man, again, those are some of my favorite. They look so good. Just the chrome in those, sick. I might, I might, I'm gonna go through later on, and I think I'm gonna try to put together the whole chrome set of those. I already have a ton. Okay, last pack of the this row. And then we got 10 more. So this is the 15th pack. Only one Lou Bob. We need to pick it up, boys. Come on. Let's get the rally caps on. Let's make up for lost time. I'll tell you what, if I go through this and get one every 25, that is brutal odds. Oh, like... Future Star. Look at that front one. It looks like the regular one. Another Chrome. Tacking these on tonight. So there's a run on these. Lots of these. Chrome Turkey Reds. Big stack. I'm going to show those off when we're done. More to come, I'm sure. All right, let me move, move the piles of base. Every five, I got to move a pile of base. I'm going to have some serious sorting again to do. All right, let me move these over. Get that situated right there. Again, just one Lou, Luis Robert tonight. I always expect the worst, but let me tell you what. Way behind on the odds on these. I mean, there's 36 card. What the heck is that? Why is that one backwards? That's just got to be. Hold on. Let me. That's just the regular base. I was going to say. Not sure why that was in the front flipped over. Just a card out of place. But you got to check them. You never know. Card, couple cards behind there. Insert. Nothing really. Moving on. Not as home run, not as many home run challenge cards tonight. Only one of those tonight had a bunch of those the other the other night. 
And speaking of which, I need to redeem those. I need to start scratching those off and redeem them before before uh, they re they expire or the season. Over the season, it seems like they have the COVID under control in the MLB now. Tell you what, the uh, Cubs and Cardinals play a bunch of games. And now the their uh, Cubs all get to play them at Wrigley Field. So they they took all the games at, at uh, down in St. Louis and have moved them to Chicago for double headers. It's crazy. Not that it matters in terms of home field advantage now with no fans. All right, there we go. Took a while. Number two. Number two. I like it. Wish we'd have got two last night. Maybe we can get one more tonight. There we go. Love it. We need a few more of those for grading, man. Again, it's the reason I purchased this whole big stack of fat packs because, A, nobody else touched them. B, hold on, hold that thought. This one is numbered, Kepler. Black parallel, it looks like. Nothing like a cheap old relic. I'll take a Lubob base any day over this crap relic. Um, not a fan of those cheap relics. Typically not worth a whole lot. It's a hit, but not, I, again, I'd rather have the Lubob base. All right, um, so... Let's keep this rolling. I'm so tired that I literally lost my train of thought of the topic that I was talking about. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, guys. Again, I'll say it again. This is amateur hour at its finest. And uh, I have fun with it. I'm not going to edit it out. You can laugh at me. There we go. There. You can laugh at me all you want, but I'm pulling Lou Bobs. There's the third one tonight. There we're making up for. And just like that, the other night wasn't so good. But tonight, they're flowing. And we still got a lot. Who knows, man? We could pull another one, guys. And then I'd be really pumped. So let's get, let's bump this one up here. Lou Bob. There we go. But I'm not going to edit it out. It's a amateur hour. What you what you hear and what you see is what you get. I'm I'm going to keep it real for you. There's a home run challenge card. I have no problem making fun of my ex making fun and having a joke on myself at my own expense. I have no problem with that. I figure I'm hoping cards and have fun. No, I'm definitely no uh, Phil's pulls with a editing machine. Although I love, I do love Phil's pulls videos. I think they're wonderful. But you know, I'm not a former MLB player with a budget to have somebody edit my videos and make them look cool and buy some better camera gear. I think I'm doing just fine with a with an iPhone and a Amazon tripod, guys. Hope you're bearing with me. I'm definitely not on my A game tonight. There's a gold. I am tired. I probably should have held off, but dude, guys, man, I, you know how it is. We're all big kids. We all love baseball cards. It's so fun. Let me move these base. It's so fun opening cards. And, uh, you know, I want to get this video out and kind of keep them coming. Keep some content on there. 
Let me get this out of the way as well. You know, as I move this base and I look over, I've only pulled one of those trout inserts tonight. Pulled a whole bunch of those last night. And uh, it's interesting when you buy a whole stack of these together. Oh, I, I, okay, so now getting my A game back. I was talking about why I bought these. It's because they were unmolested. They were not touched. They were freshly stocked, like literally minutes before I got there. Nobody else touched them. Nobody knew they were there. So I was confident that these packs were fresh and clean and not searched, not damaged. Um, when I did sort, and speaking of that, there's trout. So there is a silver foil. There's the, called a trout. As we say it, as we ask, they give it. Um, but but another part of this, as I was sorting last night, I did find quite a few cards that had nicked up corners. And a lot of it's from these packs. Um, the way they're handled and, you know, moved around. You can literally, when you buy these for five bucks, man, sometimes the whole row will be damaged. So you're taking a chance. And, you know, I'm sure you've all gone to the store whether, wherever it's at, and you find all these packs laying on the side and thrown around and people fat fingering them and searching them. Oh, yes, there we go. We're on a roll now. Yeah, that's why I bought these. This is, this is more in line with what I was expecting. Last night we were short. Tonight we're on a roll, and then we got 24 more of these bad boys to pull some more heat. So... There we go. Look at those beauties. So now that's five. So that's five. And so that's one. We're averaging one every 10 packs. So again, my brain's not working, but I should, I need to think about the ratio of like, um, what I, what I would kind of expect out of, uh, some hanger boxes it's like one in eight hanger boxes so if you spend um i'm just throwing this out there without tax so if you spend 80 bucks on hanger boxes you're typically going to go pull one in eight maybe and you possibly could pull two and eight but i'm being conservative one and eight so that's 80 bucks and these now we're averaging one every 10 so every 25 bucks so who knows how the last 24 are going to go? It beats me, but all of a sudden we went from on the low end to like, oh yeah. So pretty happy now. These are going to grading. Uh, this is why, again, I bought them. They were at the store, freshly stocked, not searched. And these those packs, again, when you find them at the store, they're beat up. They're, they're all crinkled. People are throwing them around, moving them. These were not like that. These are fresh. Before I open the next one, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can see them as I pick them up. But, man. Here's a silver foil. Here's the stat parallel. I'm so tired, I'm not even going to turn those around. I mean, look at these things. Perfect. Not all jacked up. So these things are mint. Minty, fresh. As people say, they're pack fresh. Pulled fresh from a pack. Whatever that means. Pack fresh. <laughs> That's a term I see on eBay a lot. This one's a pack fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get it, and the corner's all beat up, and there's surface damage. Guys, if buying singles on eBay, be very, very careful. Buy from people who are selling big, big lots. Mega, mega sellers who have opened up tons of product. That's a good way to get them. Here's the stupid Top Snow card. I just, I always hate. A card that was made by the stupid tops now it's like come on tops that's what you're gonna 
here's a Cubs card I'll put to side. Um, somebody had a good idea. I'm going to try to pull off in the next few weeks showing off some of my Cubs collection. Last pack, by the way. Thanks again. Please like, subscribe, comment below. P appreciate the support. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below. What do you think about this side of the break? Go back and watch episode one of these fat packs. But uh, somebody recommended that I do a show off my Cubs collection. And it's going to be hard because, again, I'm using an iPhone and a tripod. And using one hand to, like, sort through is not going to be easy. And the way that I have my collection set up on my table, it's not easy to kind of sort through the cards. But anyway, I'm going to show off a little bit. And, and the thing about my Cubs collection, all those, for the majority of the cards I have pulled from all openings through the years here. And here's a rookie foil. So I've pulled almost all the cards. There's a few that I've purchased, but not many. And uh, so I'm, pr I'm proud to show off my collection because I have, the majority of them have pulled myself from cards that I've, you know, purchased and put away. And I've only sold one Cubs card since I've been collecting cards the last five years. Sold an Eloy Jimenez gold autograph out of Bowman. It was just worth too much money. I didn't want to take a gamble. And uh, got the investment back out of it right away. And that was a pretty good sell, really, because I sold it for more than what it's worth now. It's pretty close, but it's... All right, guys, let's go through a little recap here. Um, just tonight, just two home run challenge cards. We had the Trouts inserts. We only one Cub insert tonight that's going on my PC. Check that, man, we actually, look at this set of chromes. I mean, this stack is getting big. These are beautiful cards. That some These should get, like, card of the year nominations. Little Max Kepler, black, relic. Not excited about that. But, hey, we got a short print here of Boggs. Got a black border Nola. Got a short print of Biggio. Rookie short print. So we pulled a couple of nice rookie cards. Again, these are, I am not selling these cheap, man. These are going to go in a box stored in top loaders for a later date. Probably not going to be worth anything, but who knows if they become somebody. Short print, silver foil, rainbow foil. So those are not bad pulls in my opinion. We had some, a nice vintage stock. I like the vintage stock. Um, in his New Jersey, so that's cool. I wonder if there's any... And then let's face it, this is why we open it, guys. We did pull the insert. And in 25 fat packs, we pulled four tonight. Bingo, four. Go to last night. I kind of got these stacked up from last night. One, there's the SSP. So we go back to the first 25... We pulled one. So there we have it. One in every 10 packs, 50 packs. Hopefully in those last 24, we pull another couple. And I would be a happy camper. Because I said I wanted somewhere between six and eight, I believe. And that's, we will see. We're close. Get a couple more, I'll be really happy. Those are going to grading. But again, please hit that subscribe button. Please comment. Really appreciate the support. Hope you guys are doing good. Until next time, peace.